Okay, let's do a quick comparison of some of the newer tools that are available to us to remove unwanted objects from our images. So I'm just going to concentrate on this little stick down here in the corner. So I'm in the develop module and I'm going to zoom in on this and I'm going to select the healing tool here in Lightroom and I'm going to try the erase tool which is similar to the content aware tool. So this is something new. The content aware in in Photoshop, I mean, so I'm just clicking and dragging around this object here, trying to remove it. And it did a pretty good job, but it copied some of this rock here. Let's reset this and try again and be a little bit more careful with my brush placement. I can make or break the ability to do this correctly. Okay, not bad. So let me close that and let's zoom in a little tighter here. It did a pretty good job. I can see a little bit of a, a line here that uh, is left over, but it's something that's kind of easily fixed. All right, so let's back up in our history and let's compare our tools in Photoshop. So let's edit in Photoshop 2023. That is the newest version where we have a couple of new tools available to us here. Okay, we have the new object selection tool. So when I click on this, I get a couple of options up here at the top. So I can select with a lasso or with a rectangle. So let's try the lasso for this particular object. And again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna be a little sloppy here, not terribly, terribly careful. Okay, you can see how it did a really good job of, of selecting this object. It missed a little piece here, but let's see what happens if we just kind of leave that as is and don't deal with it. So I'm going to right click within that selection. And we've got two choices here. Previously, we've had content aware fill. So let's see what this does and compare it with the new delete and fill selection. So content aware gives you this sampling box and then you can come in here and you see a preview. So if I click OK, it's going to remove it, but it left a really nasty line around it that's going to take some more work. All right, so let's back up in our history a little bit. Let's see what the rectangle can do. Sometimes it's just, it'll do it. It did it. I didn't even include this in that rectangle and it just knew it. It knew it was part of the selection. So easier way to make a selection at the very least. And so I'm going to right click and this one, I'm going to click delete and fill selection. That did a really fantastic job. I see a little bit of kind of a halo left behind here, but not bad. And I'll need to fix that just a little bit. I can switch to the stamp tool. Cloning is definitely a skill. All right, that looks a little bit better. Now I'm gonna try one more thing and see how it does. Oops, don't need to press on that. All right, so go back to our object selection tool. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave this on a rectangle here and see how it does. Perfect. Oh, almost perfect. It missed the outside of this. So you can switch to the lasso tool and hold the shift key. When I hold the shift key, you see that little plus sign that pops in there? That means I want to add to this selection. So if it didn't get everything, I'm going to lasso around that and say, yeah, now I've, now I've got it. It's all selected. Right click, delete and fill selection. Wow. That did an awesome job. So let's uh, back up here and see the before and after of that. It even did a decent job kind of filling in this rock section right here. So let's see that again. That's before and after. Woo! Powerful stuff. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future. I'll see you soon.